A simple blood test may one day be able to predict who will battle Alzheimer's disease later in life. A study out of Johns Hopkins University took blood samples from nearly 100 women between the ages of 70 and 79. When the study began, they were free of memory problems. But nine years later, 18 of the women were diagnosed with probable Alzheimer's disease. And they all had something in common. So what they found actually was that a very specific type of lipid called ceramide is increased in people that converted to dementia, but especially in those who converted to Alzheimer's disease dementia. Study participants with high levels of ceramide were 10 times more likely to develop Alzheimer's disease. Ceramides are associated with inflammation and cell death. Experts say the results are very preliminary, but promising. We really have very little evidence to go by diagnosing Alzheimer's disease, but even less evidence to go by diagnosing those who are at risk. So if we can identify those individuals, we can study them and possibly be able to come up with treatments that can prevent or delay the onset of Alzheimer's. Findings like these renew focus on early screening for Alzheimer's, but some say it is not helpful for people to know that down the line they may develop a disease for which there is currently no cure. With Everyday Health, I'm Stephanie Sai.